What's going on guys? It's Garrett Fields of Nelson Financial Planning here. Because of Robinhood and the ability to trade without fees, options trading has exploded, especially with young traders and investors. So in today's video, I want to go over options trading, what they are and how they work. And if you thought the stock market was complicated and volatile, well just buckle up and wait to hear about options trading. So in today's video, I want to go over call options. And in my next video, I'll go over put options. And there are multiple different types of strategies when it comes to trading options. I'm just going to cover the basics. Now, in order to explain how these call options work, I'm going to tell a little story. And this is choreographed by yours truly. So let's buckle up and get to the story. Let's say there's a guy named Jerry. And let's say Jerry has 100 apples. Each apple is worth $10 for a total of $1,000 worth of apples. And Jerry wants to sell his apples. Now let's say there's a second person named Megan. And she wants to buy the apples from Jerry. But Megan doesn't have the money or is unsure if she's getting a good deal on the apples. So Megan will give Jerry $20 for the rights to buy the 100 apples from Jerry over the next 30 days for $10 an apple. At this point, one of three things can happen. The first thing that can happen is apple prices could increase drastically to $20 an apple or more. This is just an example. At this point, Megan would exercise her rights to buy all 100 apples from Jerry at $10 an apple. She would give Jerry the $1,000 and Megan would go home with 100 apples. Now in this situation, Jerry would go home with $1,020. He would get the $20 from the contract and $1,000 for the 100 apples he sold Megan. The second situation that could happen is the price of apples could go down to $5 an apple or lower. Again, this is just an example. At this point, Megan would disregard the contract and go buy the apples directly from Jerry for $5 an apple. Megan would go home with 100 apples. Jerry, on the other hand, would go home with $520. $20 from the contract that he originally had with Megan that she disregarded, and $500 from the sale of 100 apples at $5 an apple. Now remember, because Megan had a contract with Jerry, she only had the right but not the obligation to buy the apples at $10 an apple. That's why she was able to go around the contract and buy the apples at $5 an apple from Jerry. In the third and final situation, let's say apples are still going for $10 an apple. At this point, Megan can either buy the apples from Jerry or she can exercise her right in the contract to buy the apples. But either way, she would buy the apples for $10 an apple. Megan would go home with 100 apples and in this situation, Jerry would go home with $1,020. $20 from the contract and $1,000 from the sale of 100 apples at $10 an apple. Now, it's important to keep in mind that in any of these situations, Megan is under no obligation to buy the apples at any point in time. She simply has spent $20 to ensure that if she wants to buy 100 apples in the next 30 days, that she doesn't spend over $10 an apple. But Jerry, on the other hand, has no choice but to sell the apples at $10 an apple if Megan exercises her rights, even if the price of apples has gone to the moon or plummeted. And this is how call options work. The only difference is instead of trading money for apples, people trade money for stocks in different companies, like Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, Disney, etc. Now, this is a very basic breakdown of how call options work. You can get into much more advanced strategies, such as covered calls, naked calls, or even straddles. And remember, you can be on either side of the transaction. You can either be a Megan or a Jerry. But getting invested in call options is extremely risky. You can lose your entire investment or even go negative. And if you don't believe me as to how bad options trading can get, Look into the unfortunate event of Alex Kearns, a 21-year-old investor whose account went negative by $750,000 overnight. 
This is why it's so important to do extensive research or to sit down with a professional, particularly one that's a fiduciary. And if you're having trouble finding a fiduciary, just know everyone on the Nelson Financial Planning Team is a certified financial fiduciary. So if you have any questions or you want to set up a free consultation, feel free to slide into our DMs. Shoot us an email or give us a call at 407-629-6477. We're always here to help. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and invest consistently.